I've had several requests for the Jamie Jacobs Nana Boy Band Wallet. With cards, cash, coins, and a cool little package, this is kind of neat. Stick around. Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here. Please go to wallatopia.info to register. You won't regret it. And remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. We purchase all the wallets we review. Never bought. So, designed in Munich, Germany, and made in Europe, somewhere, I find great interest in how they've put together their offerings. And the Nana Boy is no different. So let's get into it. My Jamie Jacobs, Jaime Jacobs, not quite sure what the pronunciation is on that. We have the product, the Nano Boy. Look at their box here. Nice signature on the front. Let's open this up. And we have the wallet. Oh, it's a nice touch. Video instructions using the QR code here. It's a nice built. Oh, oops, I missed something else too. Looks like right here, top of the box. Quick instructions. Secondary cards, primary cards, bills, where coins go. Nice. I love the concise nature of these instructions. No extra paper involved at all. So let's take a look at the wallet. This is the Nano Boy. It's in a cognac color. Nice leather. Very solid feel. This is the coin pouch, obviously. Sewing looks to be good. And boy, this is really compact too. Great wallet. Now into the feature review of the Jamie Jacobs Nano Boy. With Jamie Jacobs Nano Boy, it is a band wallet. And with that, on the top here, we see we have the pole strap. And what's interesting about this pole strap is it's not for a quick access. It's for just archive cards for the majority of your cards that go into this particular slot right here and once cards are in there then you can pull them out using this slot the next feature is the coin pouch right here this coin pouch is again where you place coins outside of America North America coins are used very heavily and so having wallets with coin capabilities is very common and is utilized a lot and then from there you have the second slot right here. And this is where they put their quick access cards uh, in this design for them. So there are two slots. There is one right here, one opposite on top of that, and this coin pouch. And that is a quick review of the features of the Jamie Jacobs Nano Boy. Now on the card and cash and coin insertion test. Okay, as you saw, we got uh, two cards in the quick access slot. The pull tab here is not a quick access pull tab. It is for the main cards you have in here. We've got five in there. So we'll pull the two out here. And we also got three slips of cash. That's folded over twice. Um, that makes that available to you. And we also got six coins in there. Just like that. There you go. Very nice, very easy, very compact. And what makes this uh, really cool is, let's, well, let's look at this really quick. There's a clever tunnel design here for the strap. The strap goes through underneath here in a little hidden tunnel area because right there is the top of the elastic. It rests on top, goes under, and then comes through this where it keeps it in place. So it will only shift within the tunnel area in here, and that's what helps keep this uh, pull strap from moving around a lot and it really keeps it secure. It's kind of a neat little design. Now the company says it can hold up to 13 cards. That's a lot. Business cards, they fit in here too. Tested it. From a minimalist perspective, I'd say it could carry you know, four cards, eight cards are, are reasonable here. And with that, it has a lot of capacity in especially the small footprint that we have here. From a quality perspective, it's made in Europe by manufacturers that are really within driving distance of where this company is located in Munich, Germany. It uses Italian leather and German elastic. Now the, the the pull strap here, if we pull this out, 
Um, this is very heavy duty uh, material here. And uh, this piece is not gonna break. There's not a chance this is gonna happen. And I really like how this pull strap here tucks down into the wallet. And so it's even really out here. It just doesn't hang out here and cause floppiness. When you push the cards in all the way, which we'll show you here, when you push the card in all the way, it actually rests flush with the elastic in the front. I think that's a nice touch and really keeps this compact and just is a great design. Has a 10 year warranty on quality, any quality issues you may have that may cause it to fail during this period of time. That's a long time. And they have high standards and they believe their products are really, will last a long time. And that's really good to see. It's priced at $30. From a usability perspective, it's very easy. They have just three things it can do, two card slots and a coin pouch. So it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. It is very compact, feels very small in your pocket. And I just love that component of it. It measures 3.39 by 2.2 by 0.63, and it weighs 26 grams. I like the build on this. It's very durable, high quality material. Uh, you can tell this thing is not gonna fall apart on you. Now let's get to the final score. For quality of four, price of four, features of four, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 40 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. Great little wallet. Pick one up. If you use key or keys or coins or whatnot, I'd like to carry those. Great option here with this little pouch. Look at these other videos. If you find them interesting, take a look. Otherwise, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.